T-Mobile Unlock Error Code 6 is a common issue that prevents users from unlocking their devices. Understanding what this error means and why it occurs is the first step to resolving it. Error Code 6 typically means your device is locked because it's a leased device that hasn't been returned or fully paid off. It can also indicate there are account-related issues preventing the unlock. To fix error code 6, you first need to check if your device meets T-Mobile's unlock eligibility requirements. The device must be sold by T-Mobile, not reported as lost or stolen, and your account must be in good standing. The requirements differ based on your plan type. For postpaid plans, the device must be active on T-Mobile for at least 40 days. For prepaid plans, either 365 days must have passed since activation, or you need more than $100 in refills with at least 14 days since purchase. The IMEI number is crucial for unlocking your device. You can find it by dialing star pound zero six pound or by going to settings, then general, then about on your device. If your device is leased or financed, ensure all payments are up to date and the device is fully paid off. Any outstanding balances can trigger error code six. The FCC is proposing new rules requiring mobile providers to unlock phones within 60 days of activation. This could significantly change unlocking policies in the future, making the process more streamlined for consumers. When encountering error code six, your first step should be contacting T-Mobile support directly. They can verify your account status and provide specific guidance for your situation. Software updates can resolve many unlocking issues. Check for and install any available system updates on your device before proceeding with other troubleshooting steps. T-Mobile provides a device unlock app for certain phones, including Samsung, Google, and OnePlus devices. This app can perform both temporary and permanent unlocks when your device is eligible. Insert a SIM card from a different carrier to test if your device is already unlocked. This simple test can save time and confirm whether the unlock process was successful. If official methods fail, third-party unlocking services exist, but proceed with extreme caution. Research thoroughly and only use reputable services to avoid scams and potential device damage. Motorola devices may encounter specific issues like invalid correlation ID errors even after T-Mobile approves the unlock. In these cases, escalate the issue to T-Mobile's internal unlock team for specialized assistance. T-Mobile is transitioning to more automated unlocking processes. Keep your account information updated and monitor for automatic unlock notifications within two business days of eligibility. Before proceeding with any unlock method, check your device's warranty terms and conditions. Unlocking may void your warranty, so understand the potential consequences before taking action.